Okay, this is just a real quick video to show you my custom tie hybrid electronic kit. It's a go kit that's been converted. As you can see, I've used the white heart heads for a more acoustic look. You can use regular resonance heads. But to dampen the noise even more, I've actually got a uh, black mesh head on there of uh, various brands. I believe these may be Percussion Plus. The kick, as you can see here, the kick drum is completely filled with a medium to firm foam that allows a more solid feel you don't get the rebound on the mesh head with it being filled like that okay you'll have to pardon my office it's a wreck at the moment I just got in from a long weekend of gigging and doing some recording okay, you can see on our kick drum it's got the mesh head on the kick as well the uh, Evans patch is just to protect the head that way it doesn't wear prematurely all of the toms snare are dual zone I've left all the original hardware on the drum so that it can easily be returned back to an acoustic kit a couple of features that I did now you'll see this is the jack I used Ibanez stereo guitar jacks they require a half inch hole and I went for those not only because of the professional look but the half inch hole can be you can take the jack out and use a screw-in half-inch air vent and go back to an acoustic kit now one thing that I did differently and I'll kind of show you here I've made some short custom cables for these toms they're using nice solid metal with the stress relief and what that does I'm using the, that as a pass-through. I like to use this little kit to do live shows with, but I don't want to give away the appearance that I'm using an electric kit. It kind of blows people's mind when you get a huge sounding drum kit out of such a little bitty set. But what this does, the little short cables just come out of the toms and they plug into the top of the bass drum. Okay, if we can get back just a little bit, I'll show you. From the front side, it's not that noticeable. Okay, that way you don't have wires just dangling from your drums stretching over to your module, okay? And what I've done, you'll see down here on the side of the drum, right above the claw, you've got your kick drum, tom one and tom two. That way all your cables are laying nicely on the floor. Alright, I'll walk back and I'll show you the way, of course I haven't wrapped these up, but if you look I've got the cables actually running around the, the side of the drum there and between laying on the hoop down there by the, the pedal and then you can use either electronic cymbals or you can use acoustic cymbals if you're using it live I prefer the acoustic cymbals and produces a great sound I'm going to turn the, put the camera on the tripod and uh, hook the mixer up to it and just play through the kit a little bit where you can see how it sounds, how it functions.